Do you want to improve your English grammar and vocabulary from beginner to advanced and become a fluent English speaker? Then watch this lesson. Hello, my name is Maddy from POC English. As you know, one of my courses on my website is called the General English Course. In this course, I teach grammar and vocabulary from beginner to intermediate to advanced. This course has 124 grammar and vocabulary lessons and there are more than 1000 quizzes and exercises to make sure that you are learning. In addition, I offer 24-7 teacher support. You can always ask me your questions. And now, in this video, I'm going to share one of these 124 lessons here for free. This is the first time I'm doing this, so watch this lesson very carefully. Now, this is a grammar lesson from the course General English. Let's have a look. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another lesson. Now, look at these two sentences. Yesterday, I went to the office at 8 p.m. And sentence two, yesterday, John left the office at 6 p.m. Which one happened first? First, I arrived at the office or first, John left the office? Which one? Yes, John left the office at 6. Then, I arrived at the office at 8, right? Now, look at this sentence. When I arrived at the office, John had left. When I arrived at the office, John had left. The first part, when I arrived at the office, is simple past, right? I arrived. Subject plus past form of the verb arrive. I arrived at the office. When I arrived at the office, Look at the second part. John had left. John had left. What is it? It's past perfect. But what is past perfect? Let's see. We use past perfect to talk about one action that happened in the past, but before another action in the past. So, I arrived at the office, but before that, John left the office. Both of them are in the past. John had left the office before I arrived at the office. We use past perfect to say that one event happened before another event in the past. When I arrived at the office, John had left. Or... I was very tired because I hadn't slept well. First, I didn't sleep well. Then, when I woke up, I was very tired. Both of them are in the past. But which one was first? First, I didn't sleep well. Then, when I woke up, I was tired. So, I was tired because I hadn't slept well the night before. The first one is simple past. And the second one, which was before simple past, was past perfect. Before I show you the rest of this video, if you want to register in the general English course with a $70 discount for only two days, simply click on the link above my head Go to my website and register. Now, let's have a look at the rest of this lesson. But how do you make a past perfect sentence? It is very easy. You need the subject plus had plus past participle of the verb. When I arrived at the office, John had left. You see, John is the subject plus had plus left, which is the past participle of the verb 
leave. John had left when I arrived at the office. Or let's take a look at another example. When the police arrived, the thief had escaped. There was no thief. When the police arrived, the thief had escaped. First, the thief escaped. Then, the police arrived. Where's the thief? Ah, he had escaped. You see, the thief is the subject plus had plus escaped, which is the past participle of the verb escape. We reached the station late and the train had left. Oh, that's my train. Oh my God. We reached the station late and the train had left. First, the train left. Then we reached the station. Where's the train? Where's the train? Ah. Oh. When we reached at the station, the train had left. The train is the subject plus had plus left, which is the past participle of the verb leave. The train had left. How do you make it negative? It's very easy. Instead of had, you say hadn't. For example, my dad was really angry because I hadn't come home before nine. My dad was really angry. Why? Because I hadn't come home before nine. First, I didn't come home before nine. Then my dad became angry. It's 9.15. She's not home yet. My dad was angry because I hadn't come home. I subject plus hadn't plus come which is the past participle of the verb come. I hadn't come home before nine. Or another example, the author hadn't finished the story before she died. There is a story and the story is not complete. The author hadn't finished the story before she died. First, she didn't finish the story, then she died, and now the story is not complete. So, she hadn't finished the story before she died. She, subject, hadn't plus finished, which is the past participle of the verb finish. How do you make a yes-no question? Very easy. Use the verb had at the beginning of the sentence. So, had plus subject plus past participle. For example, had the thief escaped when the police arrived? Had the thief escaped when the police arrived? Yes, he had. No, he hadn't. Had the train left when you reached the station? Had the train left when you reached the station? Yes, it had. No, it hadn't. So to make a yes-no question, use had at the beginning of the sentence. The train had left. Had the train left. The thief had escaped. Had the thief escaped. How do you make a WH question? Use a WH word at the beginning of a yes-no question. What was yes-no question? Had plus subject plus past participle. Had you eaten? Had plus subject you plus past participle eaten. Had you eaten? How do you make a WH question? Use a WH word at the beginning. Why had you eaten? Why had you eaten before you went on a date? Why had you eaten before you went on a date? First, he ate something, then he went on a date, and then he wasn't hungry. Why had you eaten before you went on a date? Or another example. It had rained. Past perfect. 
What is the yes no question? Had it rained? And the WH question? When had it rained? Yesterday? Or the day before? Or last week? When had it rained? She had gone. Past perfect. What is the yes no question? Had she gone? And what is the WH question? Where had she gone? Where had she gone? And that is the end of this lesson. The lesson is over. Okay, what happens next? Next, we're going to do some quizzes to see if we have learned. Let's have a look. Here we are in the academy and this was the lesson we just watched. Uh, interesting point. You can also download the lesson summary in the form of a PDF so that after watching the video, you can review whatever was in that lesson. Now, apart from that, the next step is to take a multiple choice quiz, exercise one. Let's do this together. They finished eating lunch. They had not, they not had, they hadn't. Well, I think it's had not. There are 20 questions as you can see, and this was question one. You can move on to the next question. You can go back if you want to change your answer. And when you are finished, you will see your score. Okay, the multiple choice quizzes are over. What's next? Now it is time for you to do an exercise to make sentences. Let's have a look. So after taking the quiz, it's time to go to exercise two. But what happens in exercise two? This time you do not have multiple choice questions, but you have to answer this question in the box. How many questions are there? 10. What's the question here? Make a sentence with the words below. I, before, began the meeting, spoken, had to her. So you type in your answer. I had spoken to her before the meeting. And move on to the next. When you finish all 10 questions, you will see how many of them you got correctly, how many wrong answers you have, and why your answers are wrong. And the lesson is over. Now that was only one lesson out of 124 lessons. And the good news, you can register in my general English course, enjoy a huge discount of $70 for only two days. To learn more, simply click on the link above my head, go to my website, and you can register. Hope to see you all in the courses.